Hey everyone, Michael Bartlett here, 3D Night Vision. I wanted to do a quick video on the factory settings for your on screen display menu. Um, that's the one button with the four arrows on it it's on the right hand side of your unit. You press it straight in and it'll bring up the OSD menu. We'll go down the menu here and Scene Select Custom, press Enter. Go to Shutter AJC, AGC, excuse me. Leave it on Auto. The AGC Max, I like to leave around at, at 30. And then Sense Up, turn off. White balance on ATW. Turn that one off. Turn that one off. DNR, digital noise reduction. I like to turn it down to two. If you go up to three or four, you get a really blurred and, and stepped image. Um, and that same thing happens if you have the sense up on as well. Day and night. Of course, uh, if you're running at night, it needs to be all night. Um, if you are wanting to do some shooting during the day, simply go to this setting and change it to daytime. So we'll change this back to night. IR optimizer, it needs to be on. And I like to run mine on a level of 1 or either 0. I know that sounds weird, but if makes a difference I assure you and you can play with these settings and, and tweak them for your specific red dot each one's going to be a little bit different maybe a little bit harder to see through maybe a little bit easier to see through but uh, this, this is the way that the settings are going to come from the factory from here so this next page I generally don't even mess with it here Hit return. Picture adjust. The only thing I really mess with in here is the brightness sometimes. I might turn it up or turn it down. Um, just depending. And that's where your, your red dot is going to come into play. You might have to adjust the brightness up some, uh, or down, um, for your particular red dot. Hit return. E zoom. Um, always leave it off. Um, unless, unless for some reason you want to leave it on. But, uh, when you cut it on, you want here and you see I've got my magnification preset at 127. On my firearm, the way my unit fits on it, my red dot is a little bit low and to the left, I believe. So I've got the pan and tilt set up to automatically go and center my red dot in the center of the screen. So when I need zoom, digital zoom, all I have to do is just go to e-zoom, hit on, and it automatically zooms in on my dot for my firearm. DIS, this is probably the, one of the most important settings that you can have on this it has to be in the off position um, there is absolutely no way to run this unit with this in the on position what it will do this is digital image stabilization and what it will do is it will cause your dot to float around the screen you will not be accurate at all um, your accuracy to range being off at a hundred yards by 35 feet to a hundred feet off. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, you will not be able to hold accuracy at all if DIS is cut to the on position. Privacy mask, I don't mess with that at all. Motion detect, leave it off. System setting, we'll go in here. I generally just leave everything alone in here. You can play with it. 
you know, um, if you'd like, let's get to the next page, language, version, maintenance, maintenance, just leave everything, uh, alone pretty much, if you need, if you get into your settings and you get them all discombobulated, things like that, just hit camera reset, and, um, then go back through this video, and, and, and watch it, and it'll get you back to the, the factory settings. Then you hit exit, and save, or not save. Um, you want to hit save, um, on any changes that you made. What that does, is when you turn it off, and turn it back on, the settings will be there. If you choose not save, when you turn it off and turn it back on, the settings will, will go away. Um, if when I use the E Zoom especially, I use not safe. Um, that way, when I turn it off, the next time that I go to use it, it's not zoomed in. So, and that about wraps it up for this video. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good day.